This is AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Jessica Ochai. The Iranian President Hassan Rouhani on Wednesday said he is happy that Donald Trump is leaving office. Rouhani described Trump as a terrorist and the most lawless United States president. AD4 TV Radio earlier reported that U.S. Electoral College on Monday voted in favor of Joe Biden. Meanwhile, the United States on Tuesday condemned in its strongest terms the abduction of more than 300 schoolboys from Katsina State in northwestern Nigeria. Washington also hinted that it's looking into Boko Haram's claim of responsibility for the abduction. We take a break now when we return. Constitutional Court set to declare final result of presidential election in Burkina Faso. Stay with us. Hi, my name is Andrew Samuel Bumba. My name is Hawashi Karao. My name is Gloria Oche Emanuel. My name is Elsie Organic Karao. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching AD for TV Radio. AD for TV Radio. AD for TV Radio. Cheers. Welcome back. The Constitutional Court in Burkina Faso is set to announce the final result of the November 22nd presidential election. The court is expected to make the crucial declaration 18th of December 2020. According to the provisional results released by the Burkina Bay National Independent Electoral Commission, incumbent President Yokmak Christian Kaburi won with 57.87% of the total votes cast. The Constitutional Court is also expected to proclaim the result of the plenary elections on 20th of December 2020. In another development, Israeli ambassador to Nigeria, Shimon Ben Shoshan, says the Israel-Nigeria Cooperation through Innovation Fellowship for aspiring inno inventors and researchers will strengthen ICT e-learning in the country. The ambassador made this known in his address at the official inauguration of the Pilot FCT Universal Basic Education Board Center for Science, Technology and Innovative Training on Tuesday in Abuja. Ben Shushan explained that the center would help students first away from schools by the COVID-19 pandemic. A great example of the cooperation between both of our countries is the recently launched innovation fellowship for aspiring inventors and researchers that ICT and education, Your Excellency, are closely linked and essential to building emerging economies. True. This is why we are certain <coughs> that the work that has been done here to improve teachers' access in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and agriculture will yield great benefits not only for the FCT, but for Nigeria as well. The ICT Learning Club, which we are commissioning today, will particularly help the students who, due to the pandemic, are away from their universities and schools. Remember, coronavirus is real. Ensure you wash your hands regularly. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Wear your masks besides maintaining social distancing. And that's it on AD4 TV Radio News Updates. You can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at AD4 TV Radio as well. Many thanks for watching. I am Jessica Ochai.